The main reason I was okay coming back to Houston was because of UT. One was the size, one was the variety of you know, pathology you get to see. And also on my interview day, you, you, know, you meet the department chair, you meet the program directors, and everyone seems to already know a lot about you. They're very invested in you. I had the best experience when I came here as a visiting medical student. I found all the people that I was working with so inspiring. They were so open and compassionate to their patients and to me as um, someone visiting from another institution. We have a really diverse patient population. We have really uh, you know, great foundation in the pathology that we see. The residents are kind of part of the neurology family right from their intern year. While we're doing medicine, we still do at least four months of neurology, and so I never felt that I was just um, a random prelim resident. I always felt that I was a neurologist. I'm pretty close with the residents. Uh, we have a chairwoman conference frequently. We have a case conference every Friday at 11.30. I work with them uh, when I'm on service. I uh, do stroke service and general neurology service, so a lot of hands-on bedside teaching as well. The interactions with attendings and um, the different faculty members is just so great. Everybody is just so down to earth, just willing to help you. They're you know very open to teaching all the time. We have a lot of support and really open lines of communication. I love my co-residents. Uh, I think we work hard together, we have fun together, so it's just a really great atmosphere. The neurology program here definitely is one that's nurturing and is soothing. Everyone's trying to guide you in the next four step forward, and that kind of rubs off on you as well. The TMC is unique. It's kind of mind-boggling. It is the largest medical campus in the entire world. So we have 54 institutions just right here in the Texas Medical Center, where you will spend quite a bit of your time. Pretty much anything you need here, you can find it. Also, because it's such a large medical campus, there's so many opportunities. There's too many things to even go to, but there's seminars and there's grand rounds, and it's a very collegial and collaborative environment, not just here at UT, but in all our surrounding institutions. It's its own little world, um, and you feel like a sense of pride, you know, like when you're, especially if you're from, from around here, you know, just being able to work in the medical center, uh, you're exposed to some of the most brilliant people in the world. Houston is also a very, very large city. I relocated here about five years ago. I've come to really love it. It's incredibly diverse. In fact, it's the most diverse city in America. It's um, really awesome if you're active and outdoorsy. There's so much to do. There's amazing restaurants and anything that you could want to do on your time off. The diversity in Houston is unmatched. It's a big city, but I feel like the people here are just so nice and friendly. Understanding the brain as a whole is just so exciting to me. And considering when I started in neurology many years ago now, we had so few treatments for any diseases. We didn't have treatments for MS, we didn't have treatments for stroke, and the, it's been game-changing over the past decade with how far we've advanced neurological care. I chose neurology because um, I find it, it's such an interesting field. There's so much growth and development. The patients, um, you know, really spoke to me. That was who I kind of wanted to work with and focus my energy. And There's a lot of different opportunities in terms of like career. If you want to do something that's more intense, you can do critical care or stroke. If you want to just be an outpatient neurologist, you can do that. I actually went into medical school to do neurology. So uh, while I was in undergrad, um, to try to make some money to pay rent, I found a job as an autism spectrum therapist. Became curious about the nervous system went more into research and then I realized that I wanted to do something more clinical. The most important thing is always be patient-centered. Um, the patient always comes first. I think the best way to learn neurology is to do a lot of neurology. See a lot of different patients in a lot of different settings, um, very diverse patients with diverse diseases, and that's what's going to make you a strong neurologist in the future. We see all types of patients and we're very comfortable with all the different types of neurologic disorders that can, you know, come in. If you're interested in being a clinician, if you're interested in being an outpatient doctor, if you're interested in being an academic, um, we have the whole gamut of opportunities for you here at UT. We also have great um, hospital partners in Memorial Hermann Hospital, which is a very large level one trauma center with a very large stroke volume, and also our county hospital, LBJ, so you get a lot of different inpatient and outpatient experiences. We have a lot of resources within the hospital. We have our own um, epilepsy monitoring unit. We have our own neuro ICU. 
We have our mobile stroke unit and any interest that any of the residents have, we are able to explore them with electives. The residency here is very flexible. Um, people gravitate towards things that interest them. They may be interested in stroke, they may be interested in movement disorders. We're one of the busiest deep brain stimulation um, sites in the country. So really it's kind of a make your own. If they want to work on the mobile stroke unit, if they want to do additional telemedicine, uh, there's all kinds of opportunities here. We've really tried to build programs to help residents do research because we want you to be productive during your residency. So we have a variety of biobanks. So if you're interested in checking out a biomarker in a stroke patient or looking at a disease progression in a dementia patient, we have a lot of research infrastructure that makes it actually feasible for you to do those sort of studies even during residency. It's a challenging program in itself too. Um, just being in such a big center um, naturally comes with like a lot of responsibility. This program has prepared me. I've just seen so many different cases and you have so much autonomy here to kind of um, just build yourself up and become a good neurologist. I feel very well prepared for the future.